a really fun afternoon, I must say. It's, uh, the kids were wonderful. I had a great time with them. I love working with kids, so it's, um, I had a great time. Well, I'm really enjoying the experience working with the kids. I mean, uh, they were fun. They were uh, very obedient, if you can say that, and just keen for everything. So it was, uh, it was a good afternoon. It was fun, and uh, they're embracing rugby, so that's a good thing from, from my perspective. Today at Frith Manor we've had uh, uh, scholars come in uh, to the school and it's part of a culmination of the Aviva programme which has been working with the year fives and six uh, in terms of tag rugby. Uh, so they've been working, introduced to rugby, going through that hopefully with the view to going to a festival at the end of the programme. And today was almost like a culmination of their hard work. Uh, we've had a chance of a scholar coming in and meeting a professional rugby player and as you saw uh, it's probably one of the highlights of our working week as well, seeing the children that infused. Uh, and that passionate about rugby, something that some of them have only just been introduced into. So, uh, Scullicum today was a real highlight for the guys. Well, like I said just now, I, I think it, it makes it kind of more immediate for the children to actually see a proper professional rugby player, or, or any kind of sportsman, I think, because, you know, I do a lot of coaching in the school, you know, I coach a lot of sports around the school. Um, you know, I can do all that sort of stuff from the skills point of view, but when they actually see somebody, it really fires them up and gives them enthusiasm. And I think we saw this afternoon in the session that they were really up for it and asking some really great questions and taking on board what Alex said about the kind of nutritional side of things and the rest and all that sort of thing. Um, and messages about discipline and cooperation and, and all those other things. I, I think that was a very valuable message from, from like, all, all concerned about this afternoon. They're, they've got a real burning passion about being involved with Saracens and more importantly Saracens being involved with them on their doorstep, on their community is something that they can really get behind, be a part of and, and enjoy, not just for a few months, a few weeks, but for well potentially for the rest of their lives if they're fully engaged with it. So it's, it's a really exciting time to be working with children because their enthusiasm is not, it's not tempered, it's not tempered, it's literally they are and give what they've got and you see that they've got a real passion uh, for the game and potentially having the cocktail uh, re uh, regeneration on their doorstep would be something that they'll just, uh, it will literally, it will send them to a, di a different level of ecstasy. Saracens is, is a family, we, we want just to, in to embrace more people into our family and uh, you know, if they love rugby, if they love Saracens, uh, they can join our family, but uh, it's not only just the, the rugby that's important on Sundays and Saturdays when you come to the game, it is loads of other activities to do. I mean, it's just a good day for the family to have some fun and uh, during the year they can uh, play a bit of rugby on the pitch. You know, I was always when I was younger, you, you always want to play on, you know, your heroes. You play in the same places. Now they've got the opportunity to to do it during the week or, you know, when we're not playing there, they can play there or other, other way around as well. When they're not using it, we can use it. I, I think it's a really exciting thing. I mean, I know Barnett tried to do it a few years ago, Barnett Football Club. And, uh, it didn't come to anything, but I think having I mean, I've seen pictures on the artist's impressions of what it's going to look like, and I think it can only be a good thing. You know, developing professional sport, you know, on our doorstep and in in the borough and for the community and everything else. I think I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I really do. And one of the key parts of that stadium would be that an artificial pitch would be laid, allowing schools like yourself free access to that to actually play on the same pitch as Saracens. Well, again, you know, it's a really exciting opportunity. You know, it's, it's one thing for the children to play sport here in school, but for them to have the opportunity to go to a, a brand new stadium like that and to, like you say, to play a sport on the same pitch as the professionals play on, um, is a fantastic opportunity for them. It's more about multifunctional place, not only for Saracens, but for loads of development and activities for kids out there to have a, a great great time. I mean, if you're over the winter months, you always complain how wet the pitches are, how muddy it is. Now you've got a place to go play all around, all through the year and just have a good time. You know, it's, uh, that's one of the reasons why we want, uh, want to have an artificial pitch.